Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Uh, episode 26, jacked episode 26. Um, leg day today, so a lot of you guys think I skip leg days. I actually do. Uh -huh. Nah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Main reason, actually, actually, I'll take that back. I don't really skip legs. I, I think I've skipped it like once in the past like nine, ten months. Um, and legs actually are one of my stronger points in terms of look wise. Um, but recently, I've been having this left hip thing, left hip and quad, been really tight. I think it's because of sitting a lot. And over time, what I've done is like my left side just wants to keep being in this externally rotated position. And my right side is internally rotated. And then I'm sitting all day, leaning towards this one side. And it's gotten overly tight per se. Um, it wasn't as bad as when I was doing in-person move training a lot because I used to move, in, move a lot more. But now, like, since I'm doing online a bit more, lucky enough to, you know, having more uh, flexibility that way, I've been seeing my hips get a little bit tighter. So now today is the first leg day where I've implemented Bulgarian split squats again um, instead of squats. And just aim is to obviously keep getting jacked lower body but also just improve the hips a little bit. Um, focus on the foot pressure inside the foot, big toe, uh, making sure like my heels are not coming off, coming off my toes are not coming off. Um, but yeah, so today is uh, a Wednesday, or a full day, I mean a leg day. And uh, yeah, current training update, eating around uh, 3,600 calories. So quite a bit higher than last time, 480 carbs, 85 fat, 230 protein training days, and then uh, 300 carbs, um, 85 fat, and uh, 230 protein on uh, non-training days. 90 minutes cardio, 10K steps. And uh, yeah, time to get juicy for the next about a four to five weeks. Then we'll see how we're looking and then do a little mini cut and then continue to bulk for a little bit longer and then see where we end up. And then maybe a fun little cut to end the year off. Um, I'll keep you guys updated though. But yeah, let's get legs in and uh, time to grow some juicy legs. Like this. And make sure you keep your torso fairly neutral. Don't need to overly hunch. You need to be overly up and push the side of the knee into into the turf or wherever you're doing the warm up. Um, I like doing this for about five to six breaths. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk while I'm doing my slow breaths. And the main thing is try to make the breaths uh, quiet and relaxed. You're trying to relax the system a little bit before you send it, right? This will help open up some internal rotation into your hips. And then the other side. And then the second movement I'll be doing is a single leg glute bridge. Two sets, 10 to 15 reps. Uh, keep your heel underneath your knee. And then I don't want you to overly exaggerate the glutes here, okay? So one leg in the air. Simple. We're just getting the hips moving. Push inside of the foot. Main thing is you'll notice your forefront wants to keep coming up, right? You don't want to be all the way only on the heels. You want to think about big toe and keeping your knee in.
In the third movement, there's going to be a Copenhagen plank. Just get the adductors fired up. So we've opened up the control rotation through a stretch, and then we move the hips a little bit through blue bridge. Now we'll get the adductors activated a little bit, which will help us make sure we're stable when we're doing the bigger movements, yeah? Think about side of the foot, push in. You can move closer to the pad or the box if you find this hard. My bad if the voice is muffly. My bad if the voice is muffly. You guys, so the first exercise is going to be the adductor machine, uh, one set, 12 to 20. So more like a warm up and primer of the hips. Um, a lot of us have like glute tightness, right? Everything feels tight on the glutes, but most of the time it's because the adductors are not strong enough. You don't train them, especially as guys, you never do this machine, right? So just doing adductors, strengthen them, you'll notice your glutes feel better, not as tight, okay? Juicy. So, do hamstring curls tonight. So, uh, second exercise, your hamstring curl. Um, we're going to lighter set, 12 to 15, and then we'll go a little bit heavier, um, 8 to 10. Main thing here is I want you to pause in the short, pause at the squeeze, um, and try to like get your heels to touch your butt, right? You don't want to half rep it. And the second thing I'll say is think about having your feet and knees kind of in instead of out. So, we get a better hamstring contraction that way, okay? Let's get it. And just make sure. Just make sure your knee is not off the pad too much. Okay, so uh, third exercise, Bulgarian split squats. I've done a couple warm-up sets. Um, we're supposed to do leg extension. Um, left quads when acting up a little bit. So going right to the Bulgarians. One main set, 8 to 12 reps. First time doing this movement in a while, so I'm just going to go it. This will be like the foundation week where I'll set the form, set the weight, and we'll progress from here. Okay, so 8 to 12 reps. Main thing with Bulgarians, when you're sitting on a, a platform, extend your feet out. And then wherever the foot ends up, that's the area you're going to stabilize with. What I like doing is going into that spot and standing on one leg. So stabilize your body while standing and then have this back leg across the hip, not across the hip, beside the hip. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Hey guys, after 20 hours, this is the fourth exercise. Yeah, fourth, fourth exercise, dumbbell RDLs, one top set, eight to 10 reps. Um, this workout prolonged a little bit, but we're here. Main thing here is push your feet into the ground, big toe into the ground, and hips back. We're gonna go 120s today. Juicy pump. Um, now we got leg press and uh, walking lunges. One super set. Just fry the legs off and then we do some abs and that's it. Slow leg day. Uh, talking way too much at the gym today. Started off so strong. Nobody was here. And then I had like a two hour, hour conversation with Minaraj. Um, but it is what it is. We're here. I'm not going to complain. First world problems. But I'm going to rush the workout towards the end a little bit. So I'm going to do this. Um, 8 to 12 reps pause. I'm going to superset it with walking lunges. And uh, that's when it was the leg day. Then I'll do a quick little ab circuit. And I'll see you guys in the car. Okay? So, yeah. Let's turn up. Make, make thing here is hip width and pause at the bottom. Okay? No speedy reps. Let's turn up. Come on. Right, so this is a super set with walking lunges. Let's get it. Uh, so that was a jacked episode 26 leg day i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a slower leg day not as intense but i was really focused on keeping my hip and my left quad feeling okay um left quad still feels a little bit tight a little bit aggravated um i think it's because it's sitting a lot right i'm not pushing myself into the left hip at all and i'm more shifted towards the right even the way i sit in my car i notice like i'm just like leaning towards the right side um so i just got to shift my hips back towards the left side a bit more um which i'll be more mindful about but other than that, leg day was solid. It started off really, really good. I felt fucking locked in. Everything was zoned in. Um, but then I think halfway through, um, 
not, not not blaming anybody. It's part of me. I actually wanted to talk too, but like me and Mirage start talking about other stuff. Um, you know, different different fun business ideas and shit like that. So he got a little carried away. Um, and then we started talking, and the workout was supposed to finish at one forty-five, and right now it's two forty-five. So an hour gone. It is what it is. Um, sometimes conversations are important, but next time I'll be more diligent with my time, especially I guess I'm more and more locked in. Um, but yeah, either way, hope you guys enjoy the leg day. A couple of things I want to talk about. Number one, um, one thing someone was mentioning was like, hey, bro, sometimes like I don't see the results that I want or like I'm not where I want to be. Um, and usually one of my easy responses is like, are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? Right. So this could look like many things. It could look like. Um, oh, shit. This could look like. Oh, shit, I almost hit somebody else. Right? This could look like, are you getting your water in? Are you getting your sleep in? Um, are you getting all your training sessions in? Um, are you, you know, tracking your stuff? Are you tracking your workouts? Are you making progress in the gym? Are you progressively overloading? Are you even doing the basics? And then are you doing those things for a really long time? Most of the time we do it for a short period of time and we don't see what we want to see. And then we stop doing it and we change it up. So we never put the deposits consistently. Think about it like if you're investing in a fund and you just keep taking the money out and you keep changing it up, you're never going to see the compounding results, right? So same thing with training. Anything you want to do, you want to make sure you're putting the daily deposits and let those deposits compound over time into gains. And the second point of that, sometimes when you're putting those deposits initially, you may not see the results, right? So this is where like the whole idea of like invisible progress. So you're still making progress. You just can't see it, right? So the way you have to label progress in your mind is are you winning every single day in terms of are you checking the boxes daily? As long as you're doing that, in most cases, things will compound over time and you'll get some results or you'll get some lessons and the lessons will teach you what to do better next time, right? But as long as you put those deposits in for a long period of time, you'll notice you get those results that you want over a long period of time, okay? Um, so remember, you are making progress even if you don't think you are. And if you're constantly guessing, make sure you do check. Are you even doing what you're supposed to be doing? Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed that leg day. Um, it was a fun session and uh, see you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye.